In this video, I'm going to discuss the three safety features of the Glock pistol. If you're not familiar with the safety features and exactly how they function, uh, you can clear, unload and clear a pistol, a Glock pistol, and field strip it to where you can access the frame as well as the slide and follow along. Uh, the first safety feature I'm going to cover is a trigger safety. Trigger safety is this plastic piece here that's in front of the trigger. It actually goes through the trigger onto the back side and rests up against the frame of the pistol. By merely pushing on the trigger, it will not engage. However, if you manipulate the trigger safety here, hopefully you can see on the back end there, the mechanism clears the frame and you're able to depress the trigger. Uh, the second safety feature of this pistol, before we move on to it, I want to note this trigger bar assembly. And this trigger bar assembly is this uh, metal piece here that comes up from the trigger, runs along the inside edge of the frame. Well, the tip of this trigger bar assembly right here is what's going to man manipulate this second safety feature, which is on the bottom of the slide, this round metallic plunger. This here is the firing pin safety. What that plunger does is without it being depressed, the firing pin should be locked in this channel here and there should be minimal movement. Um, at least the firing pin shouldn't come out and come forward of this face here where that firing pin hole is. However, when that plunger is depressed, you should see that firing pin drop free. And there it is. One more time. It drops free. So that that tip there on that trigger assembly that I just showed you is what moves and depresses this, allowing that firing pin to move freely. When that's depressed, you should be able to hear that firing pin moving around freely. The third safety feature I'm going to point out is what's called the drop safety. Again, here you have part of the trigger bar. The actual trigger bar falls back here and ties in to this flat piece that's in a cruciform shape. Cruciform shape because here you can see it looks like a cross. This cruciform shape is the drop safety. As you notice, this cruciform here is elevated on the back end and slants down slightly. When the trigger is depressed and pulled, you'll notice that it goes backwards. Again, it goes backwards. And when the trigger is fully depressed, it will actually drop down out of the way where it drops. So again, it moves backwards and drops. The reason this is a safety feature is on the back side of this cruciform shape rests the firing pin lug seen here. This firing pin lug, as you can see, also has a beveled edge where the front's a little lower and then angles up towards the rear. The front portion of that firing pin lug rests right here on the back of this cruciform. So again, when the trigger is pulled, it drops down, allowing the firing pin to strike the primer. 
And that's the three safety features of the Glock.